doomed. Oh my god. Hello everybody. Today we are in the nice game third quarters with Simon, Francisco and me, Loni. Yeah, we are mm -hmm. gonna look at Tori Tori and play... And Tough Calls. Yeah. So these are both games from uh, Fractal Juegos from Chile. These are not available as of right now, at least in English. I think there's a localization going on in, uh, in Europe for English and French. Mm -hmm. But as far as I know, it's not uh, done yet. Right, so that's a sneak peek and mm -hmm. um, some really cool games, to be honest. So uh, we wanted to show them to you. Let's start with Tori Tori. Uh, we can show it to you uh, on the big screen right here. It's a game about saving endangered species on an island uh, by moving around, uh, learning new skills and killing cats. So that's a bit like controversial, but basically <laughs> the way this works is there is a very uh, small simulated ecosystem here where you activate two cards at the beginning of each turn and the activation can mean that plants grow, that species uh, move, feed and breed and that uh, the village or the factory activate and do bad things. And then you get to move around with your researchers and do different actions to try and counter that. The actions are determined by your moves on the study board. So one of the actions you have is studying and then you advance your knowledge in certain areas, unlocking new actions. And that turns out to be uh, really quite fun because uh, uh, the actions you have available and uh, the way the ecosystem is simulated is really quite interesting. What happened just now when we tried it was that we were making a really nice plan on who would take care of the vegetation, who would take care of um, the cats. The cats, yes. The cat problem. The cat. <laughs> and then unfortunately what happened was that uh, because the cats really are an ecosystem problem and they can uh, not be eliminated easily. So one of the cats ate our last Tori Tori bird and we lost the game. And uh, honestly, I, I had a lot of fun and I wanted to immediately play again. So, and I got a motorcycle. Yes. So, and um, planted trees. Yes, so it, it really, it, it felt very nice. And if you can get this game in English anywhere, I really do recommend it. Tori Tori by Fractal Juegos. And, and uh, it's designed by Laura, Laura Mena. Laura Mena. Laura yeah, Mena. exactly. It looks beautiful too. Looks beautiful. So yeah, really nice that they sent us this. So that was Tori Tori. And now we're going to show you and play uh, Tough Calls. Right. Tough Calls is a very simple game. It's a narrative game, so people who are into these uh, role-playing games will also probably appreciate it. So it's about different dystopias that mm -hmm. you will play. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, there are the zombies, uh, aliens, uh, epidemic. Mm -hmm. I mean, we don't really have to imagine much out of it. but right. So you would play one of these uh, scenarios mm -hmm. and you will answer questions about mm -hmm. the situation because each player is like a leader. Mm -hmm. So basically in the game, you try to, by role playing, you want to convince the others that you're the best leader. Mm -hmm. Do we, are we like different tribes? Or, yeah. Uh, so each okay. player will play like a different faction. Now mm -hmm. you, you make out of this faction whatever you want. Mm -hmm. Like uh, maybe you want to be ultra religious or I don't know. The, God, depends uh, on the, wouldn't, wouldn't. Yeah. <laughs> maybe it depends on, on like the context. And mm -hmm. at the end, we mm -hmm. will decide, so every after each round of questions, we will vote for uh, the best answer mm -hmm. to this question. And at the end, there will be like a, a special card event, mm -hmm. which plays the same way. We will also answer it. Mm -hmm. But then after that, we vote for the best leader throughout the game, like mm -hmm. who was more consistent, convincing and everything. Mm -hmm. And we will vote. Normally, we would vote with this... Um, Caps, uh, or, yeah, like uh, um, soda, can, can, yeah, can things, you know, like very fallout ish. Yes. And but at the um, at the last round, we would vote with our faction tokens, right. which are worth two points instead of one. Right. And then we would decide. Uh, we would check like who got more votes, and that's that would be like the the leader and the winner right so obviously a game that's going to be more fun with more people in a larger setting but maybe we can still get a taste for it this is the voting mechanism like mm -hmm. a ballot so so you when, when you vote 
you uh, you vote anonymously, so I guess you can maybe hide the voter the box or something, and you would place on the faction that you thought oh. was more convincing. So first, I guess mm -hmm. we can choose the factions if you want. Yeah. I'm gonna be the cherry faction. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Interesting. You want to be the lemon faction. Okay. Yeah, I, I had be, a lemon faction. <laughs> I will be the some time ago. Strom, I guess. So first so, thing, we will either randomly mm -hmm. choose a scenario, or we can also just read them and kind of see. But I think more fun. Randomly, is random. lolly, so do do lolly will be mm. okay. I will. You will so I, I will be like the start player, and I will read the scenario. Mm -hmm. This is like the first part of the game. I read you the scenario, mm -hmm. and there is a question, and I answer immediately, and then to my left. So oh, it will right. be lolly, and then you. Okay. And lolly. on this part, mm -hmm. there are no bots yet. Mm -hmm. It's on the next part where we answer these questions that each question mm -hmm. it's like uh, for a specific scenario. Mm -hmm. Okay, the scenario is this one. Listen closely. When the scientific community indicated that the sun would eventually go out, no one gave it much importance. Of course, it will happen in a million years. Their estimate could not have been further away from the truth. Today, just 25 years after the announcement, the dawn we built is the only thing that separates us from the ice and the eternal night. My God. We are in Dome City. The population is 100,000 people. So the question that I'm going to answer right away is, eventually life will be unsustainable in the Dome. Overcrowding and resources shortages will spiral into madness. Being aware of our impending end. How do you intend to keep any hope of survival in the colony? <coughs> I believe in technology and I believe... Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, shut up! <laughs> I believe in technology and I think we can find a solution to this. I know we've been maybe uh, not as efficient as we wanted, but I think we are close to developing a, a sort of like um, nucleus that will provide electricity and warmth and everything to create to create new dome cities uh, so uh, we don't risk the um, of course there is the, this major issue that is the sun but we still need more time i think the goal now should be to expand to other dome cities conquer through, them with our nucleus shut up shut <laughs> up i'm speaking <laughs> mm -hmm. and um, with that maybe in a few decades we will work together for finding the solution. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Now so Lali, what's your plan? And plan. technology can't be it because the fucking uh, lightning guys already uh, take that. So is it, te wait a second, is it technology or is it, is it like finding other domes or what is the, what is the focus? Technology. Technology. Okay, okay. So how about you Lali, what's your plan? To keep the hope. I believe in science and specifically in genetics. So genetics, oh. genetics. Yeah. So mm. with my team of researchers, we have developed a very important, uh, a very important sources of food that doesn't require much sun anymore. Oh. So this is a good source of food for us, for all our population, the few that are right. left. And we are also experimenting in how to preserve our life, our bodies. And replace our organs when we are um, under um, threat of dying or something. Dying, wow! You know? Wow! So, How are you doing this though? I mean, we like we barely have up. any <laughs> we barely have any sunlight. Like well, well, the well, thing. well you see, come. it's all genetics. All genetics, you know. We we have worked with bacteria that are very resilient and they don't need much light. So that's, right, right. So yeah, it's it's years, decades. Hundreds of years of development. But what, how, what would you do about the overcrowding? Because, yeah, you will produce more food, but... But also... That means more people, and the dump city has, like, a limit. That it's already... Right. Yeah, right. it's already bad. But, you know, genetics can also help us to control the population growth. Whoa. Eugenics! Whoa. Eugenics. Wow. I mean, I, I didn't okay. talk about eugenics. That is too far. <laughs> we have ethics. We are scientists, but with ethics, so... We're not planning to to kill or do anything of that. Just help controlling our numbers. That's mm -hmm. it. Okay. Right. Okay. So um, the cherry faction has a very clear plan. 
Uh, first of all, we're going to kill off all the unnecessary academics in the dome, uh, like uh, the people who are talking about some kind of like nuclear energy kind of stuff or <laughs> genetics. Yeah, how, would gonna, you, how do you find the solution to this? Well, I mean, first, the first problem, wait a second. The You're first, just going to kill us and that's wait the solution. A second. No, no, no. I mean, the first problem that we have to solve is the overcrowding. That's clearly what the cult says. And then... I mean, I believe in science, but what I heard so far is mostly like nebulous concepts like 30 years in the future, and that doesn't sound too convincing to me. So, I mean, whoever uh, can prove, you know, that their science works, obviously we will keep them alive, but um, yeah, other than that, we just, have to, we, just have to, we just have to weed out the lazy people, like the lazy academics who don't really do anything. So I guess starting with all the social sciences and then we can move on from there. <laughs> um, all the artists. Yeah, exactly. All the fine exactly. arts exactly. majors. Exactly. And the good thing is this, you know, um, for some time we are going to have a pretty big surplus of food and we can use that to get really strong and buff and, you know, conquer some other domes with that. Because all the others, like who try to keep everyone alive, they're going to be weak. They're going to be, you know, hopeless because they're, you know, and we're going to be strong because we have double food and maybe even more food, depending on what we're willing to do. But these uh, scientists and stuff, they also have power. They will fight back. We will see. I mean, we will see who wins. Like the cherry faction. Uh, the, cherry <laughs> faction the cherry faction has a clear plan for everyone. Which is kill if they... No, I mean just no way to prove. What I what I would say the and cherry. No, have no, no, means no. To prove if, what the, if our means are correct or not. I mean, we we, we, we can we can wait and see. Like we will we will we What the cherry faction is is going to do is set clear priorities, and the first priority is simply you know to survive in the short term. That's what I'm offering you. You can take it all in. <laughs> The, share, the cherry faction. So now we move to the question stage. Mm -hmm. So we have three questions. Mm -hmm. So now Loli will be the first player. So now Loli will, uh, will read to herself the three questions. We'll mm -hmm. pick one mm -hmm. and we'll answer. And then you will answer and then I will answer. Mm -hmm. And then you will pick uh, another card and do the same and we'll answer. I will again. get three new cards or? No, no, no. These are the three for this mm -hmm. scenario. Oh, okay. And after each round of questions, we will vote for the best one. Good. And we will assume that you can't vote for yourself. A rumor has spread that the fuel to weather... Oh, sorry. I got lost. <laughs> the lemon faction struggles <laughs> to even understand the problems that we're facing. <laughs> I think that's a prime suicides. candidate to join the cherry faction, actually. A so. rumor has spread that the fuel to weather the coal has run out. Mm -hmm. The resulting lack of hope has caused severe depression in people and consequently a wave of suicides. What will you do to contain, contain this crisis? <laughs> we, we don't have much light, so it's a bit uh, complicated. Um, hmm. I know what I'm going to do. So, I hear that we need to bring the people together and have a nice party together and start to hug each other and share some... Um, share some love? No, share some love. That, that's, share that's, some love. that's what that's we... I think that's the cheapest way to solve this crisis. Share some love, hug each other, have a nice party. They have a nice party have with a nice like party. the two potatoes that we have <laughs> left. <laughs> <laughs> and some candy to you know, just to hug their uh, all energy. Right, yeah. uh, I think party hacks you know yeah as so expected much. as expected the lemon the lemon <laughs> faction uh does not have much to offer i can tell you the the cherry faction uh, recognizes this as a chance as an opportunity i mean think about it we have overcrowding and we have people killing themselves that's like a problem solving itself right there so I we're not going to do anything about that. So I think it's very simple. It all began exactly. with a rumor. So of course, the Electro Party has cameras. <laughs> Electro Party! <laughs> has cameras everywhere and managed also the media. So we will find the responsibles of the, responsibles of the rumor. We will catch them and we will put them out in, out in the cold. Oh my god! 
and uh, we will make a campaign to show people that there is no uh, crisis of fuel and of course we will uh, bring uh, support to the people that has been affected. The deplorable conditions inside the dome have provoked such discontent and frustration that it has awakened in some a strong motivation towards violence, escalating into riots and even mass murder. What policies will you implement to contain this crisis? Right, so as before, <clears throat> the cherry faction recognizes opportunity where everyone else only sees problems. Um, first of all, what we need is um, people, strong people, people who are willing to do what is necessary. So uh, what we will do is um, organize <coughs> contests, fighting contests. You know, we don't talk about these usually, but um, that's what we will do to, to weed out the strong ones, uh, to weed out the weak ones and keep the strong ones. And then what we will do is go to other domes, do our violence there, take their stuff to our dome and live happily. Like we can do all the hug things with the, with the stuff that we took from um, the other domes. That's the plan. That's what I'm... Here for the cherry party. Electro party. Never gets old. The electro party will uh, install a jury to mm -hmm. judge these cases, and of course, the people who are found guilty of inciting violence and committing murders, they will be expelled from the dome because there is no place for violence in the dome. There is a crisis, and we need to work together. The Green Party is also against violence, so we are going to use... Just going to hug each other again? <laughs> <laughs> We're going to transform them into orgies? <laughs> yeah, they just really good ones. You okay. mean that what, um, what they need is just a really good hug and then they're going to be okay? <laughs> no, no, all these violent people are gone from our territory. We don't need them. Okay. They are by themselves. They go outside, look other, don't do whatever they want. We don't care about them. We don't want violence in our place. So. That's it. A gang of pyrom pyromaniacs is burning everything in their past while shouting, The end has come! They hold the belief that only through fire we will free ourselves from the eternal winter. Mm -hmm. Panic and smoke have brought up the dome to the point of collapse. Well, we'll what will you do to revert this crisis? Well, obviously, these pyromaniacs are insane. And I think uh, we'll also apply like a no tolerance policy here. Uh, anyone who starting fires without permission will be immediately expelled from the dome. Pure maniacs has a point. If they want to burn something, they can. We're gonna burn them too. So they start. I thought you were the great party. <laughs> My God. Okay. Okay. Okay, lovely. Okay. <laughs> First of all, uh, the, the cherry faction condemns the attempts by the people in the dome to rebrand our dome warming committees as pyromaniacs. Remember, like last month, they pretended the fool had run out and we needed to warm things and now someone is doing something and warming the dome and suddenly that's the big crisis. So, uh, the Cherry faction clearly recognizes that nothing is wrong here at all and we're going to have a nice cozy dome from now on if you just follow what the Cherry faction says. So you <coughs> will we'll put three mm -hmm. and this is the final event mm -hmm. and you have to uh, uh, just one randomly take. How do you plan to produce enough energy for your colony? Well, yeah, for the Cherry Faction it's very simple. We've already implemented sports contests and uh, we have these nice gym facilities. So all our strong buff guys are just going to go uh, on these bicycles that they have there, going to run all day, train, you know, and at the same time that's going to produce electricity for the dome. Easy, easy solution. So like human hamsters. Exactly. So we are the Electro Party and of course you have enough <laughs> energy is our thing. As I said before, we have created also like a nucleus 
that we can use to produce electricity and work and we can use it to produce as many as, as much as we want the green party <coughs> has a um, capacity to create energy through their um, Hugs? research <laughs> <laughs> and genetics you know that not just that considering the I mean, the difficulty that we're experimenting now, we have decided to create alliances here. So we are inviting the, the energy party to, to work with us to solve this, this, this scenario. And I would think that we are very, very well suited to do that. Whoa! What about the cherry faction? I, cherry factor, faction is not recognizing problems here, so I think, yeah, we cannot... Oh my god. We cannot partner with you, but... This is treason. So now we will count the points. Green Party has five votes. Mm -hmm. The Cherry Party has four what? votes. Recount! And the Electro Party has six. So the Electro Party wins. No! We're all doomed! Oh my god! Fucking nucleus! No. What is that even? <laughs> it's just marketing. <laughs> yeah, we voted for marketing. <laughs> so that was Tough Calls and Tony Tony. Two really, really cool and fun games uh, that I think we're going to see much more of. Uh, tell us um, how you like that in the comments and what else you might want to see other yeah. than that. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Like and comment. Vote Cherry Faction. No, never, <laughs> never, never Cherry Faction. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Who wants to do the intro? La, 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 la. <coughs> Who wants to do the intro today? Today. Today. <laughs> today. Hello, everybody. Nice. I like it. Lolly does it.